Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a super fun video for you guys. I know I am kind of getting into toys. I keep finding toys. I keep finding Barbies. I found Bart Simpson. I don't know. I just love finding toys. I wish I knew more about toys and I super duper ooper wish they were easier to research because toys are hard. It's hard to find like the Barbie outfits. I'm like, how on earth can I figure out what this Barbie outfit is? And I know there's like the there's ways to do it. I'm not, but it's still hard for me. You know, like some people can just look at them and identify them. It's crazy. It's crazy cool. And I hope to be able to do that someday. I am getting better. And with time and research and, you know, I'm just going to keep continuing to learn. And that's why I do this is to learn. And I hope you guys are all learning also. So I have a featured seller from my Facebook group and she does, I think, pretty much mostly toys. And I'm telling you, wait until you see these sold prices. She is amazing. And I'm guessing she's one of those people that just like sees it and knows it's worth money, you know, where I just buy it and then I get lucky and it's worth money. So um, I'm challenging myself to get better. And, you know, I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. So um, I'm going to get started here. I think you guys are going to like this one. So definitely comment below and let me know what you think. And if you sell toys, maybe tell me your favorite type of toy to sell or I don't know. I just did one on board games, which is pretty fun. Um, I have not found a lot of vintage board games myself. Um, but man, after seeing that, I am checking the game section at the thrift store at garage sales. I will be on the lookout. I will tell you that. So be sure to like, comment, share, hit that thumbs up and hit the bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. And we're going to get started here. All right, let me get it on screen share. And I'm going to go first and show you this because I thought this was very clever. So her store is called Prize Puzzle Vintage Treasures. And I love what she wrote. Providing vintage toys and other hard to find items. I search far and wide from estates to attics. I spend my time searching for those missing, unusual, hard to find and sought after pieces. So you don't have to. Come find your prize piece to complete your puzzle here. I just love that. I think that is just so well written. All right, let's get on to the first bolo. So pink box, for those of you that think pink, pink box Barbies are no good, they are getting like, there's some good ones. So don't pass them by. Definitely look them up. Now there's a lot that aren't worth a lot. A lot of them are just bread and butter, but you can still make money. I mean, bread and butters, I mean, bread and butter is bread and butter. That's what, you know, a lot of people sell items quick. They buy it cheap, flip it quick and make their money. And if you haven't seen my new bread and butter series, definitely please go check it out. I have a whole playlist. It's a new series I started and it's a lot of fun. So this totally hair Barbie, and she says it's Mattel's best selling Barbie. She got it at an auction. She paid $20 for it. So she knew it was good. And she sold it for $115 and 49 cents plus shipping. And um, look at the Deb, Dep, not Deb, Dep. <laughs> Dep styling gel. Wonder if you actually put that in the Barbie's hair. Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe. Anyway, let's see what the next one is. All right, so this is a metal lead toy soldier shooting target. I would have no idea what that even was. Um, let's see what it says on the bottom. Does it say man oil? Yeah, man oil. Huh. So she got this at an auction. She doesn't know how much she paid, but she sold it for a best offer of $83 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage little tykes kitchen sink. And it says, Pretend play and it's child size. So I thought when I first saw it was like a little dollhouse furniture, but it's actually child size. Um, man, she's got a fancy, fancy, nice description also. Very cool. Ink frog. I don't use anything like that. Maybe I should because it does look really nice. Okay. So um, shipping on that was 
quite a bit, but she got this on Facebook Marketplace. She paid $20 for it and sold it for $53.60. And the buyer paid shipping. And here's the stove that goes with it. Again, she paid $20 and sold this for $60.39. The buyer paid the shipping. So this is Disney Princess Glitter Glider Castle Magic Clip Polly Pocket Dolls Pets Playset. So I'm going to zoom in here for you. Here's the dolls. So it looks like it's got all the princesses and their little companions here. Super, super cute. And she got this Facebook Marketplace. She paid $25 for it and it sold for $100.72 plus shipping. Okay, so these are the Disney Animator Collection 16-inch princess doll lots. And I... um. I see these all the time at uh, garage sales. So it looks like she has collected them and she has created a lot. And I bet if they had their clothes, they would have done better. But these are just, you know, no clothes. So she got them at various thrift stores, paid anywhere from $1.99 to $3.99 each. And it looks like she took a best offer of $40 on those and the buyer paid shipping. So not a huge profit on that one, but I think she wrote like a, a note on that. Let me see. I'm trying to line it up here. She said she was just trying to get rid of them. So she had a bunch of them and she just wanted to move them. So somebody got a pretty good deal on those and they'll probably get clothes for them and maybe resell them once they're dressed. Okay, so this is a vintage Rushton Little Bo Peep stuffed musical rubber, rubber face plush doll. She's cute. Interesting. Never seen anything like it. You know, she's not in mint condition or anything like that. But this one came from, huh, oh, oh, here it is, an auction. She doesn't remember what she paid for it, but she sold it for $65 plus shipping. So this is a Star Spangled Doll. It's an Indian maiden, an original box by Mattel for the Sunshine family. I'm going to zoom in here for you. And... Facebook Marketplace paid $10.50 and sold her for $60 plus shipping. All right, I love this one. This is the Disney Little Einstein. I would have had no clue. I don't think I've ever seen this show. Um, but how cute are these little guys? And it comes with the, the little uh, vehicle plane. I think it's like a plane. But she got this at a thrift store for eight bucks and sold it for $159.49. How fantastic is that? All right, so this is a vintage 1968 Mattel Dance Arena doll. She's electronic and it's the ballerina with the instruction manual here. I don't know if that's a box maybe or if it's a manual. So yeah, she looks like she kicks her feet and cute. I would have passed it off as just a little cheap doll, but no. 1968. Does that look like a 1968 doll to you? I mean, when I think of 1968, that seems like really old to me. I mean, that's before I was born. That doll was out before I was born. That just is weird because it doesn't look that old. I mean, she looks like something that would be sold today. Uh, auction. Ooh, she paid 50 for that one, but it sold for $159 plus shipping. All right. So these are the babysitters club. I've talked about this one in my F Bolo Buddies Facebook group a lot. Uh, the babysitters club are a fantastic Bolo. This one looks like it's got some movies, some VHS with it. And she got these from an estate. She paid $15 and sold them for $150 plus shipping. So again, if you are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, please down below, there's a link. Join us. It's um, 
more bolos. You just keep learning. And then I also have Twitter and um, Pinterest, but Pinterest isn't down there, but it's Bolo, Bolo Buddies. And then Instagram. Yeah, that's down there below also. So this is a vintage Fisher Price kids arts and crafts table. And again, I would have avoided this just because I would not have wanted to ship it. Look at the shipping. Ooh, $118. Somebody really wanted this table. Uh, thrift store paid $25 and sold it for $169.49. That is amazing. I wonder if she took it apart to ship it. The next item is this another. Barbie that's in a pink box, 1974 free moving Barbie doll. She's a golfer. Um, cute. Uh, this one's a big money one, guys, if you see this one. Let's see. Auction. She paid $15 and it sold for $290. And I'm hoping to get Brandy on my um, live show because she just has fantastic toy bolos and just knows so much about toys. And if I remember, I'm going to ask her more about this one, why it's so, um, why it's so sought after. I don't know if it was like a limited run and what does moving free moving mean? She must do something. Let me see if there's anything down in the description. Um, nope. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what she does, but pretty cool. Must be something fancy. Three or two hundred ninety dollars. So this is the 1977 Barbie Sears exclusive mix and match clothes fashions. It's hard to find. It looks like she's got pretty much the whole outfit here. Um, she got it in an estate sale. She did pay 15 for it and it sold for one hundred and thirty nine dollars and forty five cents. Here's another one. This one was from an estate, paid $15, and it sold for $139.45. Um, so this is the vintage, vintage fashion photo PJ doll, an original clothes, outfit, shoes as pictured. This is amazing. I mean, it's not in the box, guys. It's just, I mean, she looks to be in pretty good condition, though. Her body... Her hair is a little, a little ratty, but um, one thing that I always get asked when I list um, these Barbies that are vintage is do the legs bend and do they click in all three positions? So that's why she has this picture like it showing that the Barbie will hold that position, but the legs click into, and if you sell Barbies, you know what I'm talking about, but they click into three positions. And sometimes if they're starting to wear down, they won't hold the position. So definitely put that information in your listing. It's very important. And if you don't, somebody's going to ask you. That's how I learned. Um, she got this at an auction. She paid $6 for it and it sold for $450 plus or with free shipping. Amazing. This one might look familiar to you guys. I sold this one that was new in the box and she got almost as much as me from one that has no box. So um, this is the uh, photo Christie doll. I think this is the same one I had. Mine was a Christie. I guess I don't know if this was the outfit she had on. I'd have to go back and look. I'm trying to see how this stand works because I have one of these stands upstairs and maybe I should keep it for displaying the dolls. Never thought of that. Uh, it came with my, uh, if you guys saw my haul video of the Barbie stuff, I, I got one of these stands. Okay, so this one, she got it in auction, paid $6, and it sold for $218. The next item is this vintage Skipper's friend Ricky doll and clothes, shoes, and baseball bat. Facebook Marketplace paid $10 and sold it for $155 plus shipping. And you can see the shoe is marked. It looks like Japan. So that's a, a good. And you can see here. Trying to get the zoom to work. It's uh, got the. I guess the black print on the white label. 
those are always like a lot of them will say Barbie and Mattel. And that's when you want to look up those Barbie clothes for sure. The next item is this vintage Twiggy doll, uh, Twigster, original clothes, shoes, purse, and makeup. Like, how does she find all of these amazing Barbie items? I mean, look at that little, is it a paintbrush? What is that? That is amazing. Amazing. Anyway, this one came from Facebook Marketplace, paid $10, and it sold for $185 plus shipping. This is the 1975 Barbie Fashion Originals pink gown, shawl, floral mesh hat, and shoes. Very hard to find. It looks to be in really nice condition also. Uh, this one came from Facebook Marketplace, paid $10, and it sold for best offer of $95. So this is a vintage Ken Allen doll. It's on the card. It's still sealed. And this one came from Facebook Marketplace, paid 20 and sold for $179.49. It's amazing. The next item. Okay, so we got Barbie, Ken, and Midge, Pep Rally, Gift Set, Drum Majorette Cheerleader Dolls. Super, super cool. Um... 20 bucks Facebook Marketplace sold for $130 plus shipping. Mattel Hart Family. And these are the toddler school dolls and clothes and shoes. And this came from Facebook Marketplace, paid 20 and sold for $88.49. Let me get you some close ups here. So they're just little dolls. I think I have some of these that I need to sell. But most of mine are just little blonde dolls. They all look the same. Kind of like this one right here. Have to do a little more research on that. Now this is Jim and the Holograms. And they're dolls. It comes with clothes and accessories. They are vintage, but I don't think they're super, super old. So maybe the 80s or 90s. Don't quote me on that. Um... It is 2020, guys, so everything's a little more vintage. Oh, my goodness. So she got this Facebook market pay place for $20, and she took a best offer of $200. So this Loving Family Dollhouse Furniture um, set. I don't have the sold price some reason it cut off but she paid 20 bucks on Facebook marketplace and I'm gonna guess it sold for 129.25 since I don't have that in my notes and I'm gonna go into her store and I'm gonna show you some of the other things she has listed Definitely go down below in the description of the video and I will post a link to her store. Amazing, amazing stuff. If you're looking for vintage toys, I mean, she has very, very, very cool stuff. I'm just going to kind of scroll and show you guys some of her store. Again, I really appreciate everybody that's featured on the channel that comes and shares their bolos and, you know, it just is a great help to help all of us watching and help me learn also. I mean, I'm learning so much from this. Like, check these bottles out. So, I, you guys, I was going through her store and I was like, there was just so much stuff I wanted to share. It's just amazing. Look at these guys. These are cool. I mean, just cool stuff. I have one of these listed, but mine's not on the bike. She's like on the, she's the skididdle, I think. Skididdle, I don't know. I just sold one of them. So yeah, I'm learning. I'm definitely learning. But I love how she has so many toys. Oh, you know what? I think I have this doll that I need to list because these are um, hair bracelets. And I'm pretty sure I have two of those with the hair bracelets. So that's kind of cool. Very, very fun. Her pictures are great. 
Just want to see what else she has listed. I mean, just amazing. She has so much Barbie stuff. I want to keep learning about Barbie stuff. Oh, she's got another one of those. Lucky, lucky. All right, guys. I'm going to scroll to the end of this page, and then I'm going to come talk to you for a minute. All right. So she has tons and tons of cool stuff. So please, please go check out her store. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't hit that bell, definitely hit that bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. And also, I believe if you hit the bell icon, it um, will alert you when I post, uh, when I go live. So I go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys have not seen a live show, you can go and watch one of the replays. And what's great about my live shows, the replays are fantastic because you can learn. But um, basically, people come into the chat and they share their bolos. And then I pull it up on a banner and you guys can see what they write. And then I go and look it up and we kind of all get to see the bolo together. Uh, it's a great way to get exposure for your store. It's a great way to help others learn. If you have a YouTube channel, you get a banner pulled up with your um, YouTube name. So you get recognition there. It's just, there's so many win-wins about it. And just, there's so many win-wins about it. And everybody learns, everybody has a good time. And I hope you'll join me on the next live Bolo show. If you've been there, thanks for coming back. And if you haven't, please come check it out. It's lots of fun. Um, trying to think what else I can say about it. Oh, I do have a guest that helps me. Oh, I do have a guest that helps me. And, and I usually pull up about 10 of their bolos. So and I usually pull up about 10 of their bolos. So as I go, as I go through the chat, I will switch back and forth and go through the chat. I will switch back and forth and do, uh, around 10 from the featured seller. So I have a co-host, I like to call them, and they help read off the Bolo um, item numbers to me. And it, it moves pretty, it moves pretty fast. I was planning on doing an hour show, but lately it's been going about an hour and a half because it's just so much fun and everybody's learning. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to go work on a category video. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.